Hello, my lovely students, and welcome to Grade 3. My name is Ms. Dina Arifat. I'm the team leader of Grade 3 and the homeroom teacher of Grade 3A. And this year, we are going to have lots and lots of fun. We will learn through various interactive ways, have a variety of activities and explorations. Before I speak to you about the English curriculum, I will first go over the rules in Grade 3. The first and most important rule is to respect and be respected in return. Respect means that you accept somebody for who they are, even when they're different from you or you don't agree with them. Rule number two, be prepared with your books and supplies. This is very important to come to school fully prepared. Number three, raise your hand to speak or to answer questions. Always ask for help if you need it. Do not hesitate to ask the teacher for help whenever needed. Walk around the school, do not run, because your safety is the most important thing to us as teachers and administrators. Be honest, have a positive attitude, and always be creative. I need you to think outside the box in grade three and to shine bright. Keep in mind the five P's. Be prompt, be positive, be productive, be prepared, and be polite. Now, let us go over the English curriculum. The book covers all the skills you need to become a great grade three writer, speaker, listener, and of course, Grammarian. I'm going to show you how the book looks. This is my book, of course. Yours is a bit smaller than my book. Each unit, now of course there are two volumes, there are two English books, five units in total in both books. Each unit will have different types of genres, including fables, folk tales, myths, informational texts, and many more. We will divide the work throughout the week as follows. On Sundays, we will introduce our new vocabulary or spelling words. You will have a weekly spelling or vocabulary quiz based on the covered words. On Mondays and Tuesdays, we read our new story. We focus on the skill within the story and answer some comprehension questions related to the text. On Wednesdays, we introduce and practice the use of grammar and lastly, on Thursdays, we practice writing paragraphs. Now, in grade three, you will notice that we will work extensively on writing paragraphs. We will learn how to write a descriptive paragraph, a cause and effect paragraph, and many other types of writings. So get ready to work hard and to shine bright in grade three. Thank you for watching.